ponderings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Praise God. I mean, I could preach on that probably five days. Just that one verse. Right. You know, you, you look at that. He told Cain, if thou do not do what is acceptable and right, sin is lying at the door ready to make its way in. Ready to have its way with, with you. And so later on, you know the chapter, he kills his brother Abel because he's jealous because his sacrifice was more acceptable than Cain's. And, um, and so Cain went out with his brother one day and killed his brother. And, uh, and God asked Cain, where's your brother? And uh, Cain says, am I my brother's keeper? You know? I mean, I could just imagine Cain's a attitude, you know? Am I my brother's keeper? You know? But Abel was a righteous person. I mean, his sacrifice was was more better because he was in a right mind. He was in a right attitude with, with God. But Cain, however, his attitude uh, stunk. You know, uh, people say stinking thinking, you know? <laughs> And so that's what Cain's was. He had that stinking thinking. But Abel, his, his attitude was like, God, whatever, you know, um, I'm yours. You know, use me. You know, accept my, my offering. You know, and so God accepted his offering, you know, and used, and used him. And, and then later on in that chapter, like, like I said, he kills his, his flesh and blood. And you know what comes to my mind on that? You know, there's going to come a day when, when brothers are going to turn in their uh, mothers, uh, brothers and sisters will turn in their mothers and fathers, and fathers and mothers will turn in their children to be persecuted. But he who stands to the uh, he who stands firm to the end will be saved. You know, I'm going to stand to the to the end. You know, because my salvation is more important than turning in my Christian, Christian brothers and sisters, you know. I ain't going to turn you guys in when that day comes. And I hope you don't turn me in. You know, I want to stand together, you know, as family. You know, and so I just want to praise God on tonight, you know, and, and ask that the Lord would bless uh, uh, Pastor West and his family and, and the church here. Man. And I'm I'm glad to be a part of your family, you know, and I'm glad that the Lord brought us together, you know. I mean, you know, there's a song that talks about bind us together in love uh, with chains that cannot be broken. That's what I want. True family that I can bond together with. And you guys are my family. I praise God for you guys. Amen. Amen. Amen.